Hello friends, in this video I am going to demonstrate how we can send real-time web notifications using DeepStream real-time server. DeepStream is a real-time communication server and it can relay your messages uh, through the web in real-time and uh, DeepStream is uh, kind of similar to Pusher but this one is open source. They also have a hosted version called DeepStream Hub and uh, I am using the free version for the demonstration. So I have created an application called as test and when we click on the test application we can see all the stats of that particular application. This uh, this dashboard is kind of similar to pusher uh, but it has much more functionality which I still need to study. So in this dashboard you can see how the messages are coming into your uh, application through the DeepStream real-time messaging service. Now to send real-time messages using DeepStream you need to have this uh, application URL and your device or the client needs to send message to this particular URL and that message is related to all the subscribers who are subscribed to that particular topic. This is kind of similar to MQTT but this one uses web sockets. Now for the demonstration, imagine that you have a motion sensor in your house and you need to have real time notification whenever that motion sensor is triggered. So you need to create your test application and uh, you need to get this application URL. So we will send message to this URL and the DeepStream server uh, will collect it and we can see the incoming data in the data explorer tab. Now to demonstrate how we can send real time messages using the HTTP API, we will use this data explorer. Here we can see all the records we have created and uh, what is the values that is being set by the real time messages coming into the server. To send real time messages to the server, uh, we can use the HTTP API given by them. I will use the Fiddler software for this. Now here you can see that uh, I have copied the same URL given here. You need to copy this URL because this is the URL you need to send the data to. Copy this URL and paste it in Fiddler. That's what I have done here. Now for the demonstration what I have done is I have created a record called as motion and uh, it is in the path t slash 1. So I will update this record uh, in real time from an uh, uh, HTTP client like Fiddler and we are sending the message in uh, JSON format and the uh, request will be of post type. The topic type is a record and the action we are doing is a write and the record name or the path is t slash 1 and the variable name or the path is motion. So when we execute this, the deep stream hub will respond with the success and here is the message we have sent. And we can see that data in real time using the data explorer. So here is the variable t or the record. So here is the record t slash 1 and the variable is motion and the variable motion is having value 1. Now if we want to update this value uh, 1 to 0 in real time then we just change this data to 0 and it gets updated in real time. So the motion value becomes 0 in real time. The communication is very fast because it is being done using web sockets. So this is how we update a record using DeepStream. Now in this part of the demonstration, the Fiddler software is the publisher and the data explorer GUI is actually the subscriber and it has subscribed to the topic t slash 1. So now we saw how the server is collecting real time messages coming into it. And suppose if you have a subscriber or another software which we which is listening to this particular motion variable, then DeepStream provides SDKs for different uh, programming languages. Now I will demonstrate a simple uh, JavaScript program. This is a simple HTML JavaScript application. Uh, in this application we are creating a DeepStream client object and uh, we are playing a burglar alarm or a siren sound whenever there is a motion detected. So we log in into the server using the client.login and we get the record t slash 1 and we subscribe to that particular record. And inside that record we are subscribing to the a uh, variable called as motion and whenever there is a change in this motion variable uh, this particular function or this particular part of code will get executed. So whenever a new message arrives the data is logged onto the console and uh, if the data is zero means the motion value is zero then the alarm uh, uh, then the alarm active message will be printed and the background of the web page will turn to red and the siren sound will be played.
otherwise if the motion trigger status is not active and then the message alarm disabled will be printed and the background will turn green and the audio will be paused so now let us test this application now i will activate the siren by sending the motion value 0 so as you can see the javascript application is running and it displayed 0 as the new message arrived and the alarm active notification now i can disable the alarm by sending data value 1 here the message is getting published from my laptop to the Deepstream server and the Deepstream server is relaying that message to all the subscribers. Here my laptop is also subscribed to that particular topic t slash 1. So it is uh, getting that uh, message in real time. Now I used Fiddler software for the demonstration of the sensor. Now suppose if you have a real sensor like uh, my Wildtrack P2 GPS tracker, it can also detect motion and send real time uh, messages to the server. Then uh, let us see how this software works. For this demonstration what I have done is I have programmed the Wildtrack V2 to send the status of the motion sensor via HTTP to the Deepstream server and the Deepstream server is again sending the message to the JavaScript application. Now if the motion is triggered, the device will send the uh, motion trigger status to the server and the server is uh, uh, you know, alerting the JavaScript application. Now let us attach the sensor to the door and see how the device can be used as a security device and detect if someone tries to open the door. Now what I have done is I have attached the Wildtrack V2 to the door and if someone tries to open the door then it will detect the motion and alert the user using the Deepstream server. It will even detect if someone is knocking on the door. So that's how we can use the Wildtrack V2 GPS tracker as a home security device using the Deepstream real-time server. Thank you for watching.